Hello, I'm Emily from the Decorating Room here at Wilton and today I'm going to show you how to make a mirror glaze and try to answer some of your frequently asked questions along the way. So mirror glaze is based off of an old French technique that has recently gained a lot of attention on social media due to its mirror-like shininess. Well, there is a lot of different variations of this recipe, the first main ingredient that gives it its shininess is the gelatin. So that's where we're going to start today. So, we've got three quarter ounces of powdered gelatin and we're going to put it into some water. So I've got three quarter ounces of gelatin mixed with one and a half cup plus a tablespoon of water and I'm stirring it all up. We're going to give this about five minutes to bloom which is what allows the gelatin to dissolve and disperse evenly in the glaze and it's totally okay to substitute vegan or kosher gelatin. So now we're gonna take two cups of candy melts. I'm using bright white candy melts. You could use cocoa candy melts, you can use colored candy melts, or you can use real chocolate, that's fine too. And we're going to put it into the food processor to chop it up. I'm using the food processor because we're going to be using it later to emulsify the glaze. So this is just one less dish for me to wash later. And now we're going to add 2 thirds cup of sweetened condensed milk. And now we can add our gelatin. And now over here on the stove, we are going to cook some sugar. So I've got 1 cup of glucose. You can also use corn syrup if you would prefer. Just pour it in. We have one and a half cups of sugar and two thirds cup of cold water. So we're gonna cook this on medium heat. We're gonna continue stirring until all the sugar has dissolved. Then we'll stop stirring and continue to cook until it reaches about 217 degrees Fahrenheit. So once it reaches 217, we're going to take it and add it to our candy melt mixture. So now we're going to add some white, white icing color, which will help make the white glaze more opaque. So now we're going to pour our glaze into a large measuring cup, and we're going to pour it through this mesh strainer to get out as many bubbles as possible. At this point, you can color it if you want to. So I'm going to pour a little bit into this small container. So I'm going to color with Color Right, but you can also use regular icing gel color. So now we need to let the glaze cool to about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on the climate in your area, this could take up to an hour or so, so make sure you plan accordingly. Now if it cools too much, or if you're using leftovers from a previous project, you can always put it in the microwave for about 30 second intervals until it reaches 95 degrees. So mirror glaze is traditionally poured over entremets or mousse cakes, but you can also pour it over a really smooth iced buttercream cake. I've got this one nice and frozen, which is going to help the glaze set up on the cake. And I have it on a cake board that's cut to the same size as the cake so that it can run off. And I have it raised up. I've got it on a bowl over a cooling grid over a pan, which will catch all the drips. So now we've got our white glaze. I'm going to give it a little stir because it might get a film on the top. That's okay. And go ahead and pour. I'm going to cover the whole thing in white. And just go ahead and let it drip all the way down the sides. Look at that pretty shine. Now let's add some pink. And now let's add some green. Now you can stop here if you'd like, or you can swipe with a spatula to make a little color blend. I'm going to give it a little wave motion. So now we're going to let the cake rest to set up for about an hour. It's going to be a gelatin-like consistency, but still a little tacky to the touch. So now let's clean up some of these drips from the bottom. And let's add some fun little sprinkles down here at the, at the bottom. And now we're going to move our cake to the plate. So if you decide to add fondant or other little decorations to the cake, that's totally fine. Just know that if you decide to move them or change the placement, that it's going to affect the finish of the cake. You can leave the cake out on the counter or you can refrigerate it for two to three days. 
I just wouldn't put it in the freezer because that's going to affect the sheen of the cake. You can store your leftover glaze in the refrigerator for up to a month and you can use it to dip all kinds of other treats. You can use it for cupcakes or cake pops, anything with a nice smooth surface. You don't want to pour it over bear cake because the bear cake is just going to absorb the glaze. And that's it you guys. If you like this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. I'm Emily. Thanks for watching.